Hi, Molly. Sorry that I've been AWOL. How are you only up, though? Well, losing both parents within the span of a couple of months is tough. I've never felt so alone. I'm just here in this big empty house. I don't think that I'm ready to leave yet. But before the end of the weekend, I will have no choice but to finish everything up and leave. After all, Louis and I have to work. Oh no, you should stay longer if you can. I'm sure that Lois would be fine without you. I will take over your work. Oh, you don't need to overwork yourself because of me. I am your best friend, and you're grieving, so of course I will do everything that I can to support you. That is what friends are for. I so wish that I was there so that I could hug you. By the way, how did the will reading go? Well, I got everything. All the 20 million dollars of it. Well, how? Your parents are loaded. They used to have a double of that a couple of years ago, but bad investments cost them and they were still recovering. Either way, it is a lot of money. Uh, I just wish that they could come back and I can give up the money. I mean, I have known for years that my parents would pass away when I'm young. I am barely 23 and I already have lost two parents. How old were they again? They had me when they were 40. They were 63 and 65. But yeah, their health failed, so they passed away before their time. I always used to warn my father about all the smoking he did, but he never listened to me. Now he is not here. They lived a good life, and they loved you. That is all that is important. You're right. Morning! How are you feeling? Better. I spent the day cleaning out my old room. I gave most of the stuff away, but it was a very good and productive day. I'll come back on Wednesday. I just have to sort stuff out with the lawyer and then everything will go back to normal. And if you see my husband at work, please tell him to fetch our laundry from the laundromat. It has been there for nearly a week now. I'm lucky that I'm good friends with the owner and she understood my situation. I will just do that. Cannot wait to see you on Wednesday. Me too. Babe, you won't believe what I've just seen. Is that what kept you from coming home even though I sent you to buy me that detergent about 20 minutes ago and the store is only 5 minutes away? Damn, no need to be so snappy. I'm sorry. It's just these stains will not come off. Remind me to make sure that my sister's kids don't drink juice on our couch again. Those kids are so naughty sometimes, and they stain the couch. Are you sure that you're able to clean the stain? Because we could just buy another couch. No, this is a perfectly good couch. They don't make them as good as this anymore. It belongs to your grandma anyways, and she would be sad if we threw it away. What did you see? There's a special on some watches. Uh, remember that I told you that my work watch isn't working anymore. How much? About $2,000. Most of them went down from about 7k. Excuse me, what? Yes, that's a uh, steal, right? Daylight robbery. I will buy you an affordable and a good quality one. But, babe... I'm sorry, but I was taught to never waste money. My mother would turn in her grave if she saw me spending so much money on a mere watch. Well, that's one of the good qualities about you. The fact that you're so humble despite your upbringing. What was I thinking? You're, you're totally right. Ah, uh, the new manager is the worst. He has been nitpicking my work for the whole day and still not finding errors. It is like he's just waiting for me to mess up. I don't know why he has such a personal vendetta against me, but he needs to chill. Tell me about it. But why are you putting up with it? Because I need this job. Girl, you recently inherited money. How do you still need a job? You should just enjoy your money. Money does not mean that much to me. I do this job because I love it and it also keeps me sane. I cannot just spend my parents' money and not work for my own money. Yes, I do get it and you're making so much sense. But you know what a good idea would be? To start a new business. I, I fear that I will fail. But I will think of it. It's not like the money is going anywhere. Also, who is your new man? What are you talking about? I am your best friend, and I know you like the back of my hand. Trust that I can tell when you're dating someone. And know that there is someone new in your life. 
I went to your apartment. And what did you find that convinced you of such a crazy thing? <laughs> there were signs that someone had been there. Two mugs? Someone's else hair on your brush. The fact that the other side of your bed was ruffled. Damn, girl. You scare me. You were only in my house for two minutes to pick me up, and you already saw all of that? Fine, you conned me, but I don't think that you will like what I have to say. That this person cannot be that bad. I know how picky you can be. That is the thing. This person is someone you hate. I'm seeing my ex again, but it's something casual. You are lucky that we are at work. That is all I can say. How many times must I tell you that this man is not good for you? He literally does not like you. He just texts you when he is single or bored. I know, but... Fine, do what you want. You're a grown woman after all, and there is nothing that I can do to stop you. Oh, um, I'm sorry. I promise that there are no feelings involved. Do you want my other donut? Bribery works on me so fine. I will come and take the donut. You're the best. Thank you for always having my back. So, where are you now? You seem to be avoiding me like the plague. Uh, why do you even care? I care because you're my husband, and we are supposed to be getting couples therapy. You're the one who I caught talking to another woman in a romantic sense. I should have left you. But I stayed because I always believe in forgiveness. I want a divorce. I, I don't want to fix this. What? Being married to you is starting to feel like a trap. We, we don't even have fun anymore. All we do is work, and when we come back home, you nag me about starting a family. We are financially stable now. Well, you know that I'm unsure about kids. You should have told me that before you married me and said you wanted to start a family. You see, this is, this is why our marriage is not going to work, and we need to quit while we're ahead of ourselves. Baby, please don't give up on us. I'm sorry, but no. We can't do this, and you've also changed. You're not the person I married. Baby, what do you mean? You used to be so uh, generous and caring, but these days you're selfish. Is it about the watch? I will buy you the watch. Do you think that I want you for your money? How shallow must you think I am? I want to be happy, and, and you don't make me happy. Please, don't do this to me. I have thought about it. We will have a divorce if it is what will make you happy. Oh, thank you. You've proved your love for me by setting me free. I'll have the lawyer draft up the papers, and then we can get everything done. You snake! I should have known that it was all about the money. You are suing me for alimony. Am I not the one who's supposed to be doing that? You cheating scadro! You can call me all you want, but the fact remains that we got married in a community of property. What's mine is yours and vice versa. Can I ask something? If I had not gotten that inheritance, would you be telling me that you don't love me and filing for divorce from me? What does it matter? I don't want you. Being married to you for longer than a second is gonna kill me. Oh wow, okay. You will get exactly what you deserve. Friend, he is divorcing me. Why? What is the problem? I thought you two were happy. I found chats where he was talking to another woman. I asked him who she was, but to this day, I don't know who she is. But all I know that he wants to leave me and is suing me for half of my inheritance. Oh no! What will you do? I will make sure that he gets nothing. Good. Do that. Babes, I'm not coping. And why are you texting me? Talk to your therapist. What? Why would you say that? I don't want to be burdened by your drama, so talk to someone else about it. What happened to you? Did you get hacked? No, you're talking to the original, Molly. I said that I'm tired of pretending and hearing you lie about him leaving you. He left you for someone better. Me. You? I never got back with my ex. 
All the times you saw the man in the house was your husband. It was so much fun when you stayed at your parents' house, and we had half a week together to do what we wanted. We laughed at you as he told me to tell him to go take your laundry. Not you. You're my best friend and you would never hurt me. Well, guess what? I did because you're not worth anything. You are so pathetic. Well, I did not expect it from you. So you were the woman he was talking to. And now you're coming after my inheritance? Yes, finally you get it. How long has this been going on, and why did you do it? Because you have everything and I do not. Which is unfair because I'm prettier and more charming. And who could resist her husband? He is a handsome man. We all know it. He's better suited to a classy lady like me. Wow. You were the last person I thought would do this to me. Fine. You and I are done. Hey, how are you? I want to talk to you about something. Sure, anything. You have been our family lawyer and have helped us for years. I wanted to thank you for taking on this case and helping out. I'll do my best to make sure you win this case. Does the loser know that he's getting nothing? Well, he will know soon. I want to set up an appointment with you and to also ask you to send me in the direction of a good business advisor. Once my trust fund pays out, I'm going to start a business. You're going to follow in your father's footsteps? That's wonderful. Yes, I think that I would like to become my own boss. Good choice. Come through on Friday at 12th. I have an opening. Thank you. We'll see you then. How does it feel knowing you lost? All this time you didn't have access to the trust fund? Yes. That's fraud. Well, by the law, I can only access it when I'm 25. Oh, and I only got 10% of it. I have to donate the rest to charity. That was one of the conditions that my parents set. And you're fine with it? Yes, of course I am. I don't need to explain anything to you. Go to your girlfriend. You two toxic people more than deserve each other, and I hope you rot. For being so cunning, I hope that you never find happiness. I am beautiful, smart, and kind woman. I have all the qualities to make anyone happy. It is just pity that I wasted it all on you. Ah, uh, just buzz off. Hey, I saw that you launched a successful business. See? I told you that you had a boss girl energy. And you are? Molly! Who gave you my new number? Yes, a mutual friend. By the way, I left that loser. Lois is so money hungry. He's disgusting. Congratulations. Do you want to catch up for some coffee sometime? No. Why? Do you think that I am gullible like that? Need I remind you that you slept with my husband while I was grieving? Need I remind you that you ended my marriage and attempted to swindle me out of my inheritance? Forget stabbing me in the back. You literally cut me into tiny ribbons. So no thank you. I don't want to see you ever again. I am sorry for what I did. I have regretted her ever since. He's not a good man and he did it to me what he did to you. But each time I kept on forgiving him. You chose to be with him. Don't look for sympathy from me. Go and talk to your therapist. I have no time for this. I have a company to run. I am so sorry. I'll be here if you ever need to talk. Hey! Hi, Bella. How have you been doing? Well, I have just had my 26th birthday. Such a busy weekend, and I'm celebrating my company's success. Thank you for guiding me through the process. I would have never made it without your help. You did all the work. You're one hard-working woman, and now you'll reap the fruits of your labor. Yes, I cannot believe that. I had such a successful year. I hope I continue to do well. You will. Work hard, but... Don't forget to enjoy the fruits of your labor. All right. Well, it's at another time. Have a meeting. Hey there. I'm sorry for messaging you at such an hour. My name's Harold. Hi there, Harold. It is okay. You're not disturbing me. How may I help you? You donated money to our foundation a couple of years ago. 
We wanted to invite you to an event where we'll honor our donors. Your donation really helped us. I sent you an email two weeks ago, but I'm not sure if you saw it. Oh, my system, I have mentioned it. And I said that would get to it, but I got so busy that I forgot. Yes, I remember your foundation. I enjoyed visiting. In fact, I think I remember you, Harold. You were the very polite gentleman who saved me when I tripped, weren't you? Yes, I've been working there for years now. Will you be able to make it? I would not miss it for the world. Thank you so much for contacting me. You're also allowed to bring a plus one. Your boyfriend, perhaps? I am single Pringle. <laughs> I will bring with me someone very important to me, though. Fantastic. I can't wait to see you there. Hey there, I'm so sorry that I won't be able to make it tonight. Something came up. Oh, don't worry about it. I'll go solo. It's a pity that I had to miss it. It wouldn't have hurt to network. You must use this chance to get as many contacts as possible. As a young lady in the business, knowing all the right people will be half the work done. Thank you so much. For everything. You have always been like a father to me. And you helped me feel less lost when I was going through my divorce. Your father was my best friend, and I treat you just like I do my own daughters. Have a great night. Hi! The event was so much fun. Thank you for inviting me. It was a pleasure to have you here as well, ma'am. No need to be so formal. Sorry, it's a habit. If this is not unprofessional, would you like to go out for coffee sometime? I would love to. Really? Yes, why not? I don't know. I guess I thought you were going to reject me. I'm so lucky for such a beautiful and smart woman to be asking me out on a date. I'd be dumb not to take the opportunity. I will send you location. How is tomorrow at 3 for you? Perfect. Hey, Bella. What do you want? I told you to leave me alone already. Gosh, you're so annoying. Please, don't block me. I need a job. I am not hiring. But your company's doing so well and you're hanging out with a lot of influential people. I'm sure that you can forgive me and help a girl out. What happened at your old job? Wait, myself and Louis wanted to do something of our own, but he took all the money and ran away with it. That man and money. It will be the death of him. Fine, I think I know someone who can help you. Oh, thank you so much, bestie! It does not mean that we're back to being friends, but I know you have family to take care of. I will speak to this person and see what he says. Anything yet? Interview tomorrow. He will send you an email with all the details. Don't be late. Wow, I know that you hated me, but I did not think you could do this to me. That interview was horrible, and your friend kept on hitting me. It felt uncomfortable. Harold? He would not do that. You must be careful who you date and allow into your life. Now look what he has done. Who told you that we were dating? Oh, and I don't believe you. Harold told me what happened and sent me a recording of you trying to seduce him. I cannot believe that I was considering forgiving you after you betrayed me. But you were just waiting to ruin my life again. Well, you're the one acting like you're better than me. It is because of you that Louis left me with nothing. If you had been paying him alimony, then he would have not ran away with my money. That sounds like a you problem and not me problem. Can you talk to Harold about the job, though? He does not want to see you again. You have already cost me one relationship. Please don't cost me another one. You need to leave me alone. We used to be so close. I don't know what happened. Girl, you're so delusional. It is not even funny. Not everything is about you. Do you know that before you and Louis backstabbed me, I actually had a plan to start a business with you. I also wanted to spoil him a lot as a thank you for the support when my parents passed away. I wanted to take him to see Man United, but nope. You know, we could be friends again. I promise I will go and get help. I will go and get therapy so that I can be a better friend, but please don't give up on me. I'm begging you. Goodbye. We're done now.
You've been looking even more beautiful these days. You're aging like the finest wine. What the fuck? Thought you died or something. Cause I've been haunting you in your dreams? More like stalking me. I thought I saw someone who looked just like you the other day, but I figured that I was mistaken. But now that I've heard from you, I know that you're definitely up and stalking me. By the way, Molly has been looking all over for you. Crazy Molly, that woman is dangerous. I, I should have listened to you about her. It is so funny that she said the same thing about you. The two of you lack creativity. She already tried the crawling back to my trick, and it did not work, so please get on your way to save us both our time. Will you please listen to me? I swear, all I have to say to you is genuine. After a near-death experience, you've been on my mind ever since, and I realized that I made a big mistake. I was blinded by greed and lust. I couldn't see that I had the full package right in front of me. Ugh. I cannot believe that I was ever married to such a corny man like you. After I broke up with Molly, who was so crazy that she set my clothes on fire after I broke up with her, I went away for some time. During my time away, I lost all the money I had to a scam and I was homeless for months. Oh, really? No one wanted to help me and the people who probably could have cut me off a long time ago. Do you know that my own mother kicked me out like a dog because of what I'd done to you? Damn! It was hard until one day I got into a fight with another homeless man and he stabbed me with a piece of metal. The doctor said I nearly died. I spent some time in the hospital and those were the loneliest moments of my life. When I got out, I got a job and started working to get my life back on track. Good for you. And then I saw you. Months ago, you attended the charity event where I was working. No, I did not see you. I worked in the kitchen. You couldn't have seen me. I was in shock, but I also felt true happiness for the first time in a long time. Let me guess, you then realized that you were in love with me and could not live without me, so you tracked me down. That sounds like a movie. But baby, you know that you and I are fated. You know that I love you s so much. I begged you to stay, but you put your back to me and never looked back. Then there is the money thing. There are so many things that you did to me that I shudder to think about. Do you not think that those things haunt me too? I wonder who I was. I want to go back in time and punch myself for being so stupid. Well, it has passed now, and I have healed. Please, see me tomorrow. I, I won't take much of your time. He's back in town. Lewis? Yes, he fed me some bullshit story and now he wants to meet me. Will you go? I will, but it's also your chance to talk to him about what happens so that you can heal. Do you believe that he has changed? I don't have an answer for you. Our usual spot, at 6pm. Thank you for unblocking me. After tomorrow, we are even. We will not talk or get involved in each other's lives. Do you understand me? Clear. Guess who just proposed to me and said he wants a family with me? Hmm, Harold? Uh, this is wonderful news and we have to celebrate. No, Louis. Where did he come from? Tell me everything. He contacted me a day ago with his lame story about how his life has been held since we broke up. I think that he sees how successful I am and he thinks that I still love him. There's nothing uglier than a person who thinks too highly of themselves and uses how people feel to their advantage. He went down on one knee and said that he wanted to have kids with me and have a beautiful family. He offered me all that I used to beg him to give me when we were married. I felt nothing. As he was on his knees, his ex, Molly, showed up. Oh shit. She was pissed off about the money he took from her and she snatched the ring, saying that she was going to sell it. Knowing him, it was most likely fake. My thoughts exactly. I don't know what happened after I left, but I'm sure that it was entertaining. I'm so proud of you for not falling for his tricks. He might have betrayed you and thought you would stay down, but you're showing him that you do not need him. Also, our total profit has surpassed the inheritance that I got. Wow, I am so proud of you. Your parents are proud too. I can feel it. Come and have dinner with Eileen and I. She misses you. Can I bring Harold with me? Yes, of course. Hey, babe. Babe, go outside. 
Why? Just, just go outside. Fine, babe, but you know I hate surprises. Both of us know that you're lying. Yes, of course I am. You want us to move in together? If I'm not being too forward, then yes, I'd love to move in with you. Yes, I thought you were never going to ask me. I love you so much, babe. I love you too, and I'll never betray your trust. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Lois came back and tried to get back together with me. I laughed at his face. It is also public, so I was extra embarrassed for him. <laughs> he deserves that. How could he let go of you just like that? For what, that loose girl Molly? Then afterwards, Molly showed up and she started hiding with him. On my way. I hope there are videos of this. Maybe. See you tonight at dinner. I must take a bath. It was such a long day at the office today. See you soon, my love. I thought I had seen the last of Louis, but he kept on calling me and stalking me. I filed a restraining order, which he violated, so he's in jail now. I heard that Molly is working three quarters now, but I'm not sure if it is true. Just rumors, most likely. Oh, and my boyfriend and I just got engaged. We're ready for the next step.